and go ahead and water that with some of our starter fluid, making sure to kind of hold that plant up while it's settling that dirt in around its roots. That dirt will settle in. You may need to add a little more. And there we are. Well, that looks like that's about all we're going to be able to plant today. The rest of them will need to sit there for another five to seven days and they will begin getting roots. Before we're done, however, we'll want to stop and cut off all of the dead or yellow leaves in the pan. Simply trim all of the yellow and dead leaves. Get rid of anything that's rotting or wasting away. It will simply cause mold, mildew, and infestation. Remember that the temperature will affect your cuttings and starts. The colder it is, the longer it will take for them to root. We did this in the winter time, and it took a few extra days. We let the small plants sit in the small buckets for a minimum of at least one week. This will allow them to get used to the dirt. The dirt has no fertilizer. The only fertilizer we use is our starter fluid. This gives them a chance to adjust. Putting them in the large buckets directly without letting them sit in a small pot like this will kill the plant. In a week, we can plant these into large buckets and let them begin the full growing cycle. The small buckets are also nice because we can store the plants here while we're getting ready to plant. You can leave them in the small buckets for quite a while.